If you're here, you're ready to make a career change and become a programmer. So let's begin. Software developers work on fascinating projects and command impressive salaries. And considering increased demand in this field, it's no wonder you're interested to learn how to code. Learning to code can set you up for a fulfilling and rewarding career. But if it's your first time coding, you might wonder, is coding hard to learn? The simple answer is no. Coding actually isn't hard to learn. Why? Because if you take the time and have a little patience, you can really learn just about anything. And coding is no exception. In this video, we'll examine why coding actually isn't hard to learn and we'll show you the easiest languages so you can start on the right foot. You'll get to know which languages are hardest to learn as well, but you can tackle these after getting a few of the easier ones down first. So let's get started. It's best not to bite off more than you can chew, especially when you're just starting out. Trying to learn a complex language before you've mastered the easy options can be a frustrating experience. Plus, it could cause you to give up or just pound your head against the wall. To give you the best chance to succeed, be reasonable and start with one of the easier programming languages to learn. And if you watch this video till the end, you'll be surprised how easy it is to learn computer programming. If you're a beginner, HTML is a great place to start if you want a relatively painless entry into the world of programming. Plus, this language is invaluable for web development, so you'll gain an extremely useful head start. Next, consider learning Ruby. This beginner-friendly language has simple, easy-to-read syntax, which makes it a great beginner option. You could start coding in Ruby with really simple projects and work up the complexity down the line. Once you have the syntax down, it's just a matter of exploring what Ruby can do. But before we dive too deep into languages like Ruby and Python, don't forget to study JavaScript. It's a Swiss army knife of coding languages, and it's easy to pick up as well. Plus, HTML and JavaScript go hand in hand for web development, so be sure to learn both. Another great starter language is Python. This language is robust enough to keep running even if the code contains errors, and it's a must know in the programming world. When you dig into more difficult languages, you'll begin to see some similarities between them. All of the languages in this section use complex syntax, which can make them tough to comprehend for beginners. Plus, they tend to be harder to debug and maintain, making them potentially a stumbling stone for beginners. The bottom line is they're incredibly complex and coding is difficult for beginners in these languages. Assembly is a great example of a classically difficult language for beginners. This language is about as low level as you can go without having to chat in binary. It's far from intuitive, and in fact, some programmers consider it downright archaic. So if you're trying to avoid unnecessary frustration in the beginning, you're probably best suited to avoid assembly. Other languages like C may have more objectively interesting uses, but they're just as tough for beginners to learn. C comes in many forms, including C, C Sharp, and C++, and so on. These versions of the C language are also tough to grasp with lots of moving parts and steep learning curves. Next one on the list is a language called Java, but don't confuse it with JavaScript. That said, learning the basics of Java and Swift can be beneficial considering how widely they're being used for Android and iOS development. Now that you know a bit more about coding difficulty with different languages, you might be wondering if learning to code is worth the hassle. The simple answer is absolutely. Learning developer skills is a fantastic way to kickstart your career. You simply need to make sure not to take on a specially difficult language the first time you pick up a textbook. Coding doesn't have to be hard to learn when you start with the right language, and you won't believe you waited so long to get started. If you've enjoyed this video about programming languages, Check out my other videos on how to become a software engineer and build a rockstar portfolio next. Like, comment, and subscribe below, and let's break in.